In today's video, we're going to look at some of the more difficult examples of simplifying ratios, including those that contain decimals, those whose numbers have different units, and those where one of the numbers has to become a 1. If we start with decimals, like simplifying the ratio 1.5 to 4.5, the first thing we need to do with these is to multiply both sides of the ratio by 10 as many times as we need to to get rid of the decimal places. So in this case, that would mean multiplying both sides by 10 once to get 15 to 45. And now that they're both whole numbers, we can just simplify it like any other ratio. So you could divide both sides by 5 to get 3 to 9, and then both sides by 3 to get 1 to 3. Or if you knew that 15 and 45 are both divisible by 15, you could have just done it in one single step by dividing both sides by 15 to get 1 to 3 straight away. Let's try the same thing for this one, where we need to simplify 2.1 to 0 0.6. So first, we multiply both sides by 10 to get 21 to 6. And then we can divide both sides by their common factor of 3 to get 7 to 2. If we move on to the questions with mixed units, the key idea this time is to first of all convert one of the figures so that both figures have the same units. And in general, it's easier if you convert them into the smaller type of unit, so that you don't end up with any decimals. For example here, because millimetres are smaller than centimetres, we'd want to convert the 1.6 centimetres into millimetres, which we can do by multiplying it by 10 to get 16 millimetres. And it's important here to realise that we're not changing the value of the left-hand side at all. 1.6 centimetres is exactly the same value as 16 millimetres. So we keep the right hand side the same as 12 millimetres. So now that we have them both in the same units, we can think of our ratio as just 16 to 12, which we can then simplify like normal by dividing both sides by 4 to get a ratio of 4 to 3. Have a go at doing the same thing for this one where we need to simplify the ratio 50 minutes to 1.5 hours. So the first thing you need to do here is convert them both to the same units. And it'll be easier to convert the hours to minutes. So we multiply our 1.5 hours by 60 to get 90 minutes on the right. But the 50 minutes on the left stays the same. And now that they both have the same units, we get rid of the minutes so that we're left with just 50 to 90. And we can then simplify it by dividing both sides by 10 to get 5 to 9. For this last type, the idea is to multiply or divide both sides by something, so that one of the sides becomes a 1. For example, in this case, we need to reduce 3 to 20 to the form 1 to n. So it's the 3 on the left-hand side that's going to have to become a 1. The best way to think about these questions is to think, what do I need to do to this 3 to turn it into a 1? Which in this case would be divide it by 3. And this means that we have to do exactly the same thing to the other side. So we have to divide 20 by 3 as well, which will give us 6 and 2 thirds. So the n in this case is 6 and 2 thirds or if you wanted it in decimals, then 6.6 .6 recurring. This might feel a bit weird, because with ratios, we normally try to keep the whole numbers, rather than having decimals or fractions like this. But with this type of question, you'll often end up with non-whole numbers, so don't worry about that. Let's finish off by having a go at this one, where we need to reduce 5 to 20 to the form n to 1. So this time, we're trying to make the right-hand side the number 1. So to change the 20 to a 1, you need to divide it by 20, which means you also need to divide 5 by 20, which is 1 quarter, or 0 
so our ratio is 0.25 to 1. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you enjoyed it, then please do tell your friends and your teachers about us. And cheers for watching.